All right, so we are back here today, uh, working on the 8.6 again. Um, this car hasn't been started in a year now, so we are just doing the final bits and pieces, getting some wires on, um, just trying to do a test start up, just try to make sure it's running. My brother decided to snap a bolt off right in the VVT thing. All right, so I think we're pretty well ready now. We've got the engine earth strap back on. We've got the wiring for the starter on. Let's try to give this a start, eh? No exhaust, but so this should be loud. Ooh. Go again. Right, so uh, blew my yeah, blew the exhaust gasket off and landed on the power wire for the starter motor. So, pretty sparks, yay! All right, so where we're up to is um, just doing some wiring sort of stuff. Uh, so we had the tail lights or the loom for that out and everything like that. So we can just do the testing there. We've got everything but reverse lights now. On the dash, we are missing. Well, not the dash itself, but we are missing uh, headlights and like hazards, but we've got indicators. Um, so we can turn the indicators on and they work, but then we've got no uh, hazards when we hit them. So we just uh, got, a, got another thing as the horn not working. Um, it's all off the one wiring loom. We never changed that over, so we don't know the condition of it. So that is what is going on right now. Um, we did start the car up again with the extractors on it. Um, the timing is out. I did change the timing when I pulled the motor out because it was originally out in the first place. So that is... Well, that's got to happen in the tune. So when it gets tuned, it'll get tuned to the right timing this time. All right, so we're back here at the workshop. We got finished up yesterday. Car runs, got the extractors on. Did all the... Did, a, did the wiring loom swap over, got that all running. Um, I've just loaded the exhaust back up into the car because it's time for it to go home. It's been here for a year, pretty much to the day. Um, started this reshell process that long ago and just due to laziness and lack of funds, it's, it's only just coming to a, a head now. So I'm just waiting on the tow truck to show up. But yeah, it's, uh, it's going home. It's going to get a wash. Cause it needs a wash. God damn it needs a wash. We are loaded on the truck. We are going home. Ho ho ho, it is the season. I'm working on the 32. So that's what we're doing today. I've been given a list of things to complete. It involves a lot of that stuff there. This is a very expensive ECU. Like talking two grand. So I'm kind of excited to see what's inside. There we are. There we have it. That's the Link G4. That is a direct bolt in for that. Look at that. That looks good. Alright, so we are just taking the factory board out. There's a few screws. Apparently there's some soldered ones in there. I don't actually know, but we're going to find out the hard way. I'm absolutely sure of it, because that is always the way with me. Alright, so Whitey was telling me about the soldered screws, and what they are is the heads are soldered on them. So it's just a case of unsoldering them and unscrewing them.
So the link ECU is in there. Woo. All right, so the workshop's been rearranged, the fuel rail's off, the ECU's been changed over, and Mr. White here is starting on the exhaust here. Baby. That was Mick, she put a fucking Canadian club in it. I'm right here, babe. Oh! There it goes. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's the chips right there. Yep. It was. <laughs> You okay now? Uh, I probably got one more spear left in me. Alright. Just finger it. Nah. Do you want me to finger it for you? Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> this is all on record. Woo! Auto oh man, loose. if it was only fucking VB, man, I'd be right, but the fucking Ganadian <laughs> Club killed me. I'm sorry. I wanted to contribute. Oh. No, I'm not going to spew a second time. Oh! 